Welcome everyone to Lubbock, Texas and Jones AT&T Stadium, home to the Texas Tech Red Raiders. And this crowd, as always, will be rowdy because they've been gearing up since early this morning. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Baylor Bears. Taking on a team recharged after a much needed bye week, the Texas Tech Red Raiders. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis. Jo the Bears will kick it away to start us off. And here's the return. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Texas Tech's offense will have the first possession of the game. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, but keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. And the Red Raiders want to move quickly. Hands it off. And a nine yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Offense, quick tempo. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. And here's the thing. you got an opportunity right now. you got the football early in this game to show you this is going to be more of the same, Tony. Well, we talked to both coaching staffs and players, and they're all very aware of what happened the last time these two teams played. So expect everybody's A game today, Reese, you're right. We expect this one to be a lot tighter. To the air, it's Morton. Incomplete thanks to the great defensive pressure there that sort of threw them out of rhythm. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the right. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Reeled it in and just made the house call. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executed at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they put the points on the board with that 37-yard touchdown pass. Here's the return from inside his 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So Baylor's offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. Offense getting set for first down. He leaves it with his back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. They feed him again. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for space, it's Richardson. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. They've got him looking run, now they're gonna throw it. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. After taking another look, just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. Always 
always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Looking to throw, it's Finn. Working the middle, it's complete. The defense wouldn't let him lose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Caught behind the line, it's Baldwin. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Bears will line up to punt it away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Texas Tech has it back and the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. From the gun, the ground game. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. The Red Raiders headed quickly to the line. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. Discards a man. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Now the play fake. Pressure coming. He's going to take off. Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. And the Red Raiders are moving quickly down the field. Second and short is a great situation to be in. And look at him. He drops back to pass the football. He doesn't have to throw the football. He wants to be aggressive, but he can just take off and scramble. Doesn't have to take a chance. Great being ahead of the sticks. The Red Raiders have it with a first and ten. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Coming after it. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Scanning the field, it's Morton. Looking for the score! And he's got it! Touchdown, Red Raiders! The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spread them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. Ready to try the point after. is on for the extra point. And the extra point makes it 14 now. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Georgia Tech has the lead right now, but if this team has taught us anything over the years, it's that no lead is safe inside Bobby Dodd Stadium. They're up by seven over Notre Dame. For now, it's back to you, fellas. But, of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. He's looking to throw. Lost one deep down the right side. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. 
He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. It's a reverse. Nifty little dance step. They get him on the ground at the 37, but give him 15 yards on that chunk play, and they'll move the chains. Looking for room. It's Richardson. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. Back to pass. It's Finn. Pocket starts to collapse. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. The defense didn't get to the quarterback right away. But the QB kept holding on to it. And you see these defenders, they're trying to rally. They're getting up off the ground. And they're getting after the pursuit, trying to chase the quarterback. Eventually get to him after he held the ball for under the five seconds. And the Bears will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he will boom that punt out of bounds. No chance for a return. Let's see where the officials spot it. Power football with the run. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. And the Red Raiders want to pick up the tempo. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Maybe a little frustrated after that last incompletion. It's second and 10 from the 38. Grabbed over the middle. It's Douglas. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Now from the 48-yard line, it's first and 10. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. Using his legs, it's Brooks. The stop is made almost immediately, giving one to the 23. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. The inside handoff. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And this one will be stopped for no gain. After getting nothing, it's second and goal from the six. Got it behind the line. It's Kelly. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. They'll try to pass it in on third and goal. Feeling some heat. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Red Raider! They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. 
He didn't see anyone open. He said, no problem. I'll take care of it myself. Yeah, I I've been there before. I've been there, done that. Not my first rodeo. I've been in this kind of situation. Down by the goal line, I'm getting outside, and I'm taking it in myself. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. And most importantly, they got the first. They've been getting pushed around up front this game. And haven't created a lot of lanes to run the football, but you needed it. You needed that first down. You needed to get the sticks moving. You need to run some blocks. So good job by the offense finding a little bit of space to get the first down. They'll leave it with him. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. The Bears come to the line in the hurry up. third and long trying to have a big completion here gonna try to get it himself they finally get him on the ground but not before he rips off enough for a first down and the Bears are moving quickly down the field sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head you saw it right there he was able to buy himself time get outside the pocket and at that point I think the decision was pretty easy hey I can go get this with my feet he was able to do that now they got a fresh set of downs this first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. Snagged in the middle, it's Jackson. Stopped just inside the 30 at the 29. It's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. They'll try the right side. Hit the gap. Got some room, hit it to the goal line. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor! That running back just had a caravan of blockers to take him into the end zone. There's not very many times at home, Reese, where I'm going to say that everybody watching on their couch could have scored on that play. This is one of them. Lining up for the PAT. And after the extra point, they're now down 21 to 7. They marched 79 yards on the drive. And he put an exclamation point on that drive with a 29-yard touchdown. Coming out with it, it's McCray. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking to throw, it's Morton. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes. So you could see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm and not let him be so comfortable back there. Right there, they were able to get after him. Let's see if they can keep it up. The Red Raiders decide to punt it away. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. 
Last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on it. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They've clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Getting some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. How long do you need to throw the football? Goodness gracious, he had tons of time in the pocket to get rid of it, to make a read, but just kept holding on to it, holding on to it. Eventually, at some point, that offensive line is going to break down. The Bears will line up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Running it back, it's McCray. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Texas Tech has it back in the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. And the Red Raiders racing to the line in the hurry up. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Slips away. But he can't get away again, and down he goes, and the trickeration is not so tricky. Well, we knew coming into this game, this defense had some matchups they felt really good about up front, and they won one right there, getting to the quarterback, creating a negative play, and they're going to need these guys to start winning more of those because they are finding themselves in a hole here early in the game. The Red Raiders will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Takes it on the return. Oh, he spun away like a vapor. That nifty return sends up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Using his legs, it's Richardson. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. The option look. The pitch. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Dropping back, it's Finn. Trying to get to him. And there was no way to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? And the Bears will punt it away on fourth down. He'll bring it back. It's McCray. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. Out of the gun. The running back has it. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Trying play action. He lobs one high down the left side. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Muscling ahead on third and short. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. And the Red Raiders come to the line with a new set of downs. Nice job by this offense, converting the third down. Listen, third and short, they know you're going to run the football, and they still did a great job being physical. Third downs has been such a struggle for this offense. 
bottom 50, one of the worst in college football. Nice job on that play. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. The Red Raiders have this offense rolling. He's going to pass. Throws for the tight end. Wide open downfield. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And the Red Raiders in the hurry up. Another first down. Man, this, this, defense, this defense couldn't stop a nosebleed right now. It's that bad. Makes his connection. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. A first down run in the red zone. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Now on second and goal. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Trying to break the plane on second and goal. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. Follow the block. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. It didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Georgia Tech is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in the ATL for some time. They're up 14 over Notre Dame. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Grabbed in the middle. It's Hawkins. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Plenty of time as he fires it to the right. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. He gets a block. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Looking for a man. It's Morton. It's complete to the left. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. New set of downs after that completion. Going up top on first down. Pressure coming. And the ball's loose in the backfield. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And the defense able to get pressure to the quarterback, and they've got everybody trying to swipe at the football, and the impact on the hit sometimes jars the ball loose. Great job with the pass rush, and a better job forcing a turnover. 
Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, and now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They... He's going to let one fly down the middle. And he dropped it. Oh, what a missed opportunity. Nobody around. Just had too much time to think about it. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Coming after it. He's going to run it. Turns it on in midfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Bears come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He fires to the left side. And they dialed up the shot play, but they couldn't hook up. They'll line up for a second down play. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Gets it out fast. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Third down, and they'll need to get the ball to the 38-yard line. Pocket starts to collapse. They'll immediately call timeout. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him. And sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. And that is how a punter helps out his defense, pinning them deep in their own territory. Offense set on first down. Hand off from the shotgun. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. They'll knock him down, and that will take us to halftime. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. The Red Raiders will kick it away to crank up the second half. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. Knocked down right at the 25, and I guess he breaks even, bringing it out of the end zone. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half. That's the only one. Fires one high and deep. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. And the Bears moving quickly to the line. They try to pop a run on the draw. Went to the running game on third down and picked up five, but still a couple of yards short. It's fourth and two. The Bears line up to punt it away. Bringing it back, it's McCray. He turns like that and why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. He'll come out throwing on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Douglas. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. On second down, looking to throw. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. Unloads to the wideout. Caught over the middle. It's Douglas. 
And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got his man downfield. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And the Red Raiders are moving quickly down the field. They're working that left side. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And in this offense, you know as a quarterback, you're going to get opportunities to put up some pretty big numbers. You've been impressed watching this guy play early this year. With that last pass completion, he's now already over 2,000 yards on the season. The Red Raiders are threatening on first and goal. Trying to surge it in. Touchdown, Red Raiders! And the stomping has commenced. Now they have extended this lead, guys, starting to put the hammer, but sometimes a rivalry game can give you a little of extra fight back. And there can be no panic at this point now. You've worked too hard this offseason, David. They've had this game circled for so long. You've got to play your best football right now and fight back. And you just need something good to happen on this next possession. You've got to get the crowd back into this football game. Big rivalry. Get some emotion. Get some momentum on your side. And the extra point sails through, and they have a 35-7 lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. They go to the ground. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19, give him one. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Dropping back, it's Finn. Trying to escape and get it himself. Quarterback has to protect himself, gets down with the slide. And the Bears will try to pin them back with the punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He'll call for the fair catch here. Texas Tech has it back in the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. Give to the running back. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. He wants to throw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to it. You got to give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit, they were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack. And the Red Raiders send out the punt unit. On to kick it away. And that is just about a perfect punt as he pins them deep inside the 10-yard line. 
They think there's room to run to the right here. Finds a crease at the 20. And he breaks into the open. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. they got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. Brings up. To the air, it's Finn. He's got his man. Tackle is made after the first down. The Bears come to the line with a new set of downs. Running back searching for a hole. They'll rip off eight on that play in second and two. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. On the run, it's Richardson. Crosses the 30, he's got away. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Yeah, another good run. I feel like we could put that on loop, Jesse. Just another good run, another good run, another good run. Over 150 yards on the day. He's been the complete package, showing off all his skills today. Touchdown, Bears! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Sometimes we ask coaches about halftime adjustments, and they go blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes they make some good ones. <laughs> sometimes that blah, 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 blah actually works, but it's working now. But it might be too little too late, but at least you got the party started. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good. They still trail 35-14. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. South Carolina was relentless today in a road win that frankly wasn't even as close as the final score indicates. This was a vintage Gamecocks performance, one that really should instill confidence within this program. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams, but boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. They'll mark him down at the 40 after ripping off 10. The offense lining up for a first down play. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Leaves it with the running back. Makes one man miss. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yard. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Takes a handoff. It's Brooks. Tackled at the 45 after the five-yard play. It's enough for the first down. The Red Raiders have their offense in high gear. The gift to the back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Out of the gun, the gift to the back. On the move is the 30. The expressway is wide open. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful... And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. I think defenses sometimes get frustrated and you want to get blitz happy and because you give up yards. In this day and age, you're going to give up yards. Who cares? This is the area we've got to bow up. Nice job on first down stopping them. A couple more downs here to stay aggressive. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. 
to the air. It's Morton. He's got it on the run. And tackled there by the defense. Third and goal is where offensive coordinators earn their key. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. You can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Absolutely perfect. And that lead grows even bigger. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Baylor offense back onto the field. To the air on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Richardson. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Big play to start this drive, and they're already out at the 48. It's first down. He's looking to throw it. A strike downfield. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. And, Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. They are really clicking along first and goal on just the fourth play of the drive. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Can the defense stop him again on second and goal? Looking downfield, it's Finn getting some heat. Snags it, takes it to the house. Touchdown, Baylor! How about that? The second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense. Number three is coming soon. They'll line up to go for two. Trying to pound it in. Jumped on top of the pile. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Texas Tech ready to send the offense back onto the field. He'll do it himself. Got enough for the first down. And there they go again with another huge gain on the ground. He's finally run out of bounds. Open the drive with a chunk play out past the 40, and they are in business on first down. Movement here from the tight end. They'll go to the ground. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. On the ground, it's Brooks. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Third down after the run. Motion from the offense. Quick release on the RPO. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. And the Red Raiders are rolling down the field. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. 
And the defense is doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. A third down try for the offense. Back to throw, it's Morton. He makes the connection. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there. A similar situation with a lead like this. Uh, they'd definitely be running the ball at this point. Uh, they'd probably take their starting quarterback out of the game potentially, but not this unit. They are still staying aggressive. They're still taking shots. They're just trying to light up the scoreboard. The Red Raiders will snap it on first and ten. Now from inside the red zone. Throws to the wideout. He makes a grab. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. With the run on first and goal. Touchdown, Red Raider! And the beatdown has ensued. They put another score on the board as they try to push this winning streak to three. This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already is a fifth rushing touchdown on the season. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They put together an 81-yard drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Baylor has it back, and here comes the Bear offense. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You can tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation. Getting the quarterback, being disruptive. They've been all over the field. Let's see if they can get out of their own way on second and long from the eighth. Looking to throw, it's Finn. Man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. And this defense is going to have its ears pinned back on third and long from the one. Number one objective here, no turnover. The heat got to him, and he just sort of froze and got tackled in the end zone for a safety. And that kind of sums up the day for this offense. I mean, nothing has really gone your way. Now you give up the safety. I'll tell you what, this team's got a lot of work to do over this next week to get better, to improve. This was a bad day. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. On the return, it's McCray. Is Texas Tech has it back and the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. What a feeling this has to be, David, in complete control and headed toward victory formation. Yeah, no stress, under a couple minutes left in the ball game. Well in hand. These are the ones, Jesse, you like to just run the clock, take a knee, whatever you want. No doubt. They're going to love watching this game film, too. There's just so many positives to take away from this, and this is the kind of performance today that is really going to help this offense's confidence. Dragged down at the 46 after a pickup of five and the first down. When you deal with a rivalry game, you have to live with the outcome for a full year. And this one is going to rest in their minds for the entire season going into next year.
game. And it's not going to sit well with the losing team. When you lose these, you're going to get hounded and you're going to get hate. You're going to get social media is going to destroy you about losing to your rival. But you got to put it past you. It is just one game. It's not that big of a deal. Well, Jesse, yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is a big deal. You're right, David. I mean, a lot of these kids, they played with each other or against each other in high school. They've known each other for a long time. There's going to be a lot of trash talking going on, not just between players, but the fans, their families, coaching staffs. This is a game that's going to get talked about for an entire year. And you talk about wanting to get revenge. It's going to take some time. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.